Well, hello you guys and welcome to today's video where I'm gonna be testing out for you, trying on and reviewing the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked palette. This collection that Hourglass just launched is a part oh, of the holiday collection for 2022. I obviously picked up the elephant shade selection and it's so, so cute but I got a lot to say. So we're gonna talk detail specification swatches. We're gonna be applying this in all types of way on my face. And we're gonna talk about, you know, everything. So if you want to do that, keep watching. My name is Ashley Alex. If you don't know me, feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more beauty things. I have so many holiday and new release products that I am currently testing and trying and reviewing for you. And you don't wanna miss out. So tap that bell when you hit the subscribe button too. So YouTube more likely will notify you when I post more videos, but you might have to come back and check because they are terrible about their notification system. But anyways, let's jump into it, shall we? Boop. Before we start playing around with this palette and actually applying it to my face, let's talk details and specifications real quick. So this is technically Hourglass's holiday collection. There are three different palettes to choose from. We have the one with the tiger theme on it. We have the butterfly theme that's kind of like a little bit Silence of the Lambs to me. I kind of dig it. I don't love that movie. I don't like scary movies, but I dig like the Halloween vibes to it. I'm surprised nobody else has mentioned that yet. And then there's also this elephant packaging. Now I went with the elephant packaging. The retail price is $85. Now Hourglass tends to be a more expensive brand. So that's no surprise there. I think that's pretty on par with other holiday launches from them. I got this little trio from Ulta for like around 60 something dollars a few months ago. And uh, you get obviously half the sizes. Looks like the same size pans, I think. Actually, hang on. Whoa, no, they're not the same size pans. I guess that's why I was so surprised. I gotta tell you, I opened this last night. I took a little sneak peek when I got it. Didn't swatch it or anything, just had a peek and I was shocked. I did feel like this was gonna be a little bit bigger. I don't know if I ever saw a holiday palette from them in person before. So I guess that makes sense why I'm so surprised now looking at my trio, cause I was like, oh, well, like whatever. It's just double the size and you still get a good deal. But I uh, I can't do the math on that, but uh, yeah, that, that looks a lot smaller. So, uh, but you get more shades and the packaging is that limited edition packaging. That's really pretty. If there is a certain palette in particular that you like the outside cover, but you want something different on the inside, if you go to Hourglass's website at the time of ordering this, at least you can customize your palette. So I thought that was really cool that Hourglass is offering that. So let's talk retailers. It is supposed to be on Sephora, Ulta's and Nordstrom's website starting September 23rd. That's the rumor at least. There's always coupon codes going around too for retailers websites such as Hourglass. I used welcome, I think, welcome code or welcome 15, something like that. I'll pop it right here. That's the code that I used to save 15%. So I actually only paid 76% so $10 off roughly. And that was better. That was easier on my budget. Also Sephora and Ulta always do holiday deals and stuff. So I know Sephora VIP sale should be coming up soon. I know it. I feel it. I feel it. But will it sell out? I don't know. There seems to be a lot of want for this. Oh, something I'm noticing right now. I don't like how this lid doesn't stay up. I know that's nitpicking, but I'm so used to, look at their trio does. Their trio completely stays up. This one, this is the, that, that, that bugs me. I know it's heavy, but they could have, they could have, they could have made it stay. I'm used to expensive products having those little extra something somethings. Here are the swatches of this elephant palette in case you are interested in getting this one for yourself. Starting on the left, we have the finishing powder in dim light, then the finishing powder in soft light. You have the metallic strobe powder, which is basically your highlight shade. It does look like it's gonna be a little dark for me, but of course we'll see when we go to try it on. And then the fourth one in is the bronzer called Lustrous Bronze Light. Then we have two blushes, one in the shade Iridescent Coral, and the last one is Radiant Rose. Four of the shades in here are new, where two are just repeats and things you can buy, and that is only dim light and soft light. So if you already have those in your collection, maybe see if this is for you or not. I don't personally, this is the only palette that I have from the only ambient powders that I have from Hourglass. So for me, this made sense to get because I wanted to experiment with some more products. The blushes are new. I wish one of those were marbled because like that's such like a, it's just a thing. It's so pretty. They do offer a couple marbling in the other packages, but um, one I wanted to mention, be cautious of if you have a lot in your Hourglass collection is that butterfly packaging. 
Three of those shades are repeats. The Ethereal Light Finishing Powder, Iridescent, Incandescent, sorry, Strobe Powder and Diffuse Light. And then the other three, two are blushes and one is another Strobe Powder, are the new ones. So just be cautious. The Tiger Palette looks freaking beautiful, especially for deeper skin tones. There's only, no, there's two repeats in there. I think, is this Incandescent? No, no, Incandescent Rose and the Tiger Palette is repeat and Transcendent Light Finishing Powder. Uh, is a beautiful setting powder for deeper skin tones. And I just wanna say, um, freaking finally, finally we are seeing a palette for deeper skin tones from Hourglass. I don't wanna give them too much credit because we've been asking for literal years, but if you are of deeper complexion, you've been waiting for a palette from them. This one looks absolutely stunning and gorgeous and rich and actually has some pigmentation to it. Anyways, let's get to applying. I am not a super fan of the the like setting type of powders, the original ambient light powders, I thought they were a little overrated. However, that's coming in the year 2022. I, have, I don't even know anymore. They've been around for a long time. Now I think that there's so many setting powders on the market that give this glowy look that you don't have to spend this much money on it, you know? So for me, the blushes and the bronzers, beautiful. Those are so worth it. I know this still came with two setting powders, but I was thinking, you know what? Maybe it's just that setting powder. I keep calling it a setting powder, finishing powder, ambient light finishing powder. Maybe it's just that shade that like I couldn't feel a difference. And when I was going to swatch these, these felt so much smoother and richer actually than my trio. I don't know if I've just, you know, got an old one or something, but this one, it still feels smooth, but it's just a little bit drier than these. Yeah. I instantly felt more of a richness with these. So I'm hoping I'm hoping I can get that groundbreaking, earth shattering feeling and look on my skin that I feel like people have been talking about for so long because I felt like so late, so late. I almost want to take this little detail brush and see if I can like really pick up a lot. I will do like one of each powder on each side when it comes to the blush and the finishing powder. So let's start with this shade. Uh, what is it? <laughs> oh, there we go. It says it on the back kind of weird. So I'm going to start with dim light which that one swatched to be the more pinky one. I'm hoping that these all still work for me. And let's pop it. Oh, I see it. That might be too dark for my under eye. Mm, yeah, do you see that? Oh, well, we're committed. <laughs> I'll lighten up with something else afterwards. Okay, that's not gonna work. No, you see? Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> let's... <laughs> Let's wipe that off. Let's go in with the one next to it called Soft Light. I know these have been around, so you either already know about them or not. I think, man, I think the one that I already have is, is my perfect shade. That one's working okay. That one, I only see a tiny bit of a cast. That one I definitely, it almost looks like I put that like little blush look. Oh, that's not cute. <laughs> How am I going to use it then? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this one, I mean, you could tell it's so light. That one I can use under the eyes, but I just don't see anything. I just don't see a difference. And I don't even, I, I guess I see a little bit of a, of a shine. My complexion products that I used are already so shiny. I tried out the Milk Future Fluid Concealer. This is like my third time wearing it. It has such a beautiful glow to it. So that's, it almost took away the glow of that product. Okay, I gotta do something else. Hang on and I'll use the finishing powder somewhere else, I think. Okay, I just properly set my face with the House Lab setting powder and the IT Cosmetics by My Pores powder, try to lighten up that area. I know that these are finishing powders, but I just wanted to like see if I'm, if I'm missing something and maybe I should be setting it. I've tried setting it with this before, it just does nothing. I think I know what I'm gonna do though, okay? Because I know some of you are probably yelling at the screen like, you're not supposed to use it that way, but I've seen them use it that way to like add that glow. I set my concealer under the eyes, but I know some of you guys don't. So I just wanna make sure I try it all the ways. This looks fine. <laughs> Everything's fine, I'm fine. I'm gonna use it basically how I use my favorite Tarte Shape Tape Glow Powder, which is just dusting it all on. I, just, I really wanna be blown away. Maybe if I focus it more on the cheeks, as opposed to the under eye. I've just heard you can like really amplify the under eye area with it and I'm just not getting that. I'm just not understanding. Is there a bit of a glow? A little bit, a little bit of a glow. It's just not blowing me away, guys. Really not. Oh gosh, and this palette is so tiny. I keep hitting the bronzer. 
I know this is a huge brush, but this is what I would do. Okay, I see the more shine on this side now. Clean that off and let me go into, what was this again? Let me go into soft light. So that was dim light. Let's go into soft light. Yeah, see, it's hard to not pick up the product right there. I guess that's why last year they did like those big long ones, huh? I know it's supposed to like help in different lighting and stuff too. I just don't know if I'm sold on the finishing powders. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I can do though. Tell me, do you think that that looks like any certain way? I guess I do like this side a little bit better. I do see the glow a little bit over here. This side's kind of looking more dull. So that could be the, uh, the undertones of it. Definitely not as pink as when I use that concentrated brush under the eyes. That was too much. Don't do that. Let's go into the fun stuff now though. The thing that I think I'm already gonna love because I love the other ones start with bronzer i usually would contour first but i want to be able to really see this product so i'm not going to be doing that let's dip in to that one it seems pigmented it definitely seems darker than the other one that i have Ooh, yeah it's something about their uh their blushes and bronzers they have a bit of a sheen to it that just looks so pretty so beachy and summery that I just love it. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, I love it. Okay, that's very pretty. Let's go in with blush now. I will use one on each side. So starting with iridescent coral, which all these are supposed to be limited edition, exclusive, brand new shades. That is gorgeous. They just go on so easily. I love those Cover FX monochromatic blushes, and these go on just as easy as those do. And they have such a pretty glow. They just blend so well. Like, I get the hype with ambient light powders when it comes to blush and bronzers. I just don't get it for the finishing powders. Oh, let me put it there. That is so pretty right that's so pretty okay let me go in with the other shade which is radiant rose I'm gonna be a little bit deeper i'll uh, even it all out when i'm done Ooh, look at that and they're definitely buildable too which i like so i can play around with how much i want to deposit and build up so i could do like a more soft look or i can do a more glam full pigment look and that also is more flexible for more skin tones too really pretty i feel like i could beef this one up a lot that one has a lot more pigment so cute oh i love it that one is almost too not as shiny as these this one am i feeling that vibe am i seeing that oh yeah i do i see a little bit more sparkle in the pan of that one so me personally i prefer that one i just think it looks a lot better on my skin tone let me even out the base tones though by just layering because you could do that too. You could layer like the darker one up here and then bring down the pinky one over here. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm gonna try the strobe light, which is the new one in the shade, what, beaming strobe light? No, metallic strobe light powder, beaming strobe light. I don't know. Take that. It looks like it's gonna be too dark. Oh yeah. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Eh, it can kind of work. No, wait no no it's, it's okay it's okay i have an idea where am i right here it's strobing beautifully and i don't see a ton of like glitter particles at all it's a very beautiful highlight i think i can lighten it up a bit with the uh dim light maybe soften it maybe that's how i can use it yeah yeah, that works. So maybe you could do that too. If you are very fair and you're still wanting to grab this palette, you might be able to lighten these shades with these powders. Perhaps, maybe, don't quote me on that. These powders might be too too dark for you too. Cause I didn't, I don't, did I see any? I saw one of the palettes. You know what, it is weird. Hang on. The butterfly palette's a little strange to be honest. Um, you have those blushes that in pictures appears to be really deep blushes and even the strobe light but 
ethereal light, incandescent light, diffused light, all those repeat shades look like the light ones. And this is diffused light. That is really light. I wonder if those blushes are actually that dark in person. I haven't looked at any other reviews yet. I'm gonna tell you guys, go watch Morgan Turner's review. She bought all three palettes and I haven't watched hers yet, but I know she always does swatches and like shows everything. So go check out hers if you're struggling to find which one is for you, if this one's not it. I really like these blushes and bronzers, but I don't like the ambient light powder still. What if I dip into both and I just freaking layer it to fill? Do I see any difference then? Let me go look in different lighting. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I looked, I looked at natural lighting. I looked at my bathroom lighting. I went all around the house running around with the mirror. And I'm just like, I just look powdery. I, this lighting is actually the best lighting. Um, and I still don't get the vibe. <laughs> What am I doing wrong? I swear, I don't get it. But I love the blushes, love the bronzers. That's how, I mean, that's another reason why I wanted to pick this too, because I mean, you get four new shades. This highlighter is good. The blush and bronzers though, those, those are the ones that have my heart. If there was a full blush and bronzer palette, probably would get that. But I think they've done that in the past. I just don't get the diffused light thing. So that kind of brings down the value for me in my eyes, but I'm glad I did it because I needed to know for myself that I've tried everything and I think all the ways like I said tell me if I'm missing a step tell me if I'm missing what it is that's supposed to make these powders so good because for me personally I would take that Tarte Shape Tape glow powder any day because I actually see a difference with it this one is just nothing I don't know I just don't get it but let me know if you're gonna pick this up I think it's so so cute so pretty the lid is driving me nuts though it's driving me nuts it's the most exciting one that I've seen from Hourglass personally for holiday. That's why I finally bit the bullet and got a holiday palette because I think the packaging is just stunning. It's cute and unique, but it still looks really sophisticated to me, which it's hard to get that balance of not just being like cheesy. I think that's all I got. Make sure you subscribe before you go, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AshleyLX for some extended content. And I will see you guys next time, okay? Bye.